so much oh my god oh my god yes my room looks as dirty i know i know hi guys my name is kion and yes you read the title correctly i'm spending new years alone and you might be like oh my god i'm so sad you're spending new years alone babe don't be sad i chose to do this okay i want to deep clean my room we're gonna eat good we're gonna get our mental right okay so come with me on this journey and we're gonna start with this dirty room here in this room i literally have red bull cans all behind me i have starbucks cups i have like food that i need to throw away i have so much stuff that i need to throw away i have all these clothes my shelf is broken it fell off the wall so we're gonna put that back up i'm going to throw away half of my clothes and we're going to not throw away we're gonna donate okay listen we're smart we're gonna donate we're not throwing it away but i have so much me to get rid of so let's do it let's chit chat and let's talk about the new year This actually looks pretty decent. Um, I made a huge mess. At first, I was scared that this wouldn't be good, but it looks actually pretty good, so let's taste it. Mmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. I wish the rice was softer, though. Dinner is done. I am now gonna clean up. Let's start the whole cleanup process as well, where we get together my life. I know you cannot see my face, but you don't have to. We are going to clean the kitchen, I'm gonna put the food up, and then we're gonna move to my disgusting room. Um, yes, I'm like very, very addicted to Red Bull. Clearly, and it's not any kind of Red Bull. It's the sugar-free Red Bull that I love. And so I have drank, I think right now, this is like 17 or so cans of Red Bull, which is absolutely insane. Yes, I know don't tell me that I should not drink that much. I already know that, all right? I know it, don't even put it in the comments, all right? But you know, I like it. It gives me energy, it fuels me to do everything. What's it fuels me with the energy to do anything that I want to do? Um, we have some uh, a bowl of ramen here that also needs to be thrown away. Uh, we have one of my bags here that I need to go put up. I need to put all my bags back in their place or back in the box. Oh my god, we have some raspberries, but I don't. Oh my god, this is lovely. I love uh, how I love the things that I do. All right, I'm gonna throw this away. I'm gonna throw this. All of this needs to go. Okay. New year, new me, new us. All right, this is a group effort. I don't know if it's just me, but I literally can't work in like one area. I literally have to like keep moving from place to place. So we're gonna time lapse this and you're gonna see me go from A to B and like do a bunch of different things because I have to put a lot of stuff up. Okay, we have one desk clean, beautiful. We're making small progress, I can't even complain. Okay, I have these cords here, like they're extra iPhone cords. Okay, they're not really extra because I feel like I never have an extra iPhone cord, but I bought a few like, you know, spare ones. So I need to find a place to put them. One of them always goes inside of my purse though. I keep one in my purse with my portable charger that I bring literally everywhere because it charges my phone and like two other phones. You know what I'm kind of having like an internal conflict about is actually like, do I start putting the stuff up? you know like do i start putting stuff up in the place because we still have to go through each drawer we have to like deep clean stuff and throw away a bunch of stuff so like how can i do all of that right now i actually have this bag in my closet that i keep like it's this little bag and i keep all of my extra cords in this ziploc bag so any cord we find i'm going to put it in here i just found a bottle of soju a bottle of soju in my room this is beautiful beautiful we'll drink this after we finish this room i put you in the corner of my room I am going to uh, finish cleaning my room time-lapse style. If it's something important, I'm gonna move you closer and we're gonna go through it together. But there's a lot of trash that I gotta get rid of first and a lot of things I need to throw away. I wanna find a place to put my keys, but I don't have that yet. Maybe we'll get something here that I can like put my wallet, my keys, something really cute, you know? But for right now, this is going to be spot. Some of the stuff in here, I will not be donating because it'll be ripped or like torn or something. And I don't want to donate it. I want to donate like quality stuff that I would wear. If it's ripped, it's going in the trash. If it's good or like if it's in good quality, then it's going in the bag. Why do I feel like this angle makes me look so weird? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like going through all of this stuff is going to be so like therapeutic for me. I'm just going to throw away whatever I don't want or not. We should stop using throw away. Donate whatever I don't want because I feel like, you know, why not? This last drawer is the crazy drawer because this drawer has a lot of stuff that I would never wear. 
Wow, I have such little items now. I love them. I actually do. Okay, a little tour really quick. Look, this drawer is literally just my towels and then that random white glove that we found. And then this one literally has my underwear, it has my socks, it has some shirts. And then look, because we freed up so much space, I literally have a full free drawer. I'm literally not complaining at all. Okay, now that this is done, I kind of want to just jump into the closet. I'm going to go inside the closet and start deep cleaning it. Please. Please send me your prayers because I have so much to go through. We're just going to time lapse the whole closet because I can't walk you through it. Okay, we've made progress. A lot of progress. My bed is like somewhat cleared off. This whole area is good. My closet is like well, not done done but i'm taking a break from the closet because i'm like annoyed so we're gonna move over into this thing over here and i'm gonna start cleaning this out i have a bible here which is so interesting because i feel like i don't have to explain that uh yeah i have a bible here um oh my god i have so many shorts i feel like i'm gonna keep these because like go to the beach you know swim i do live in california and we have a beach here so i don't think i should throw these away even though in my mind i'm like throw them away <laughs> i shut up Oh my god, I have this cute thing. Oh my god, wait, over here I have my Coachella box, which I will always keep. It was my first Coachella. I will always keep this. I love this. I'm excited for Coachella coming up. I want to see the lineup. I have random button-ups. These random button-ups are getting put out. These tie-dye stuff, I'm just getting rid of them because I don't wear them at all, and I feel like I don't need them. I have random white tees I don't need. I have, like, shirts that I was gonna wear. This apron, we're keeping. The apron eats. Honestly, I wanna keep these a little bit empty because I feel like having space would be good for me. Oh, I love this. Wait, I didn't even know I had this Aaliyah shirt. This is really, really cute. I want you guys to know that it's also 2 in the morning. Like, literally 2 a.m., so. Just please uh, keep me in your thoughts and prayers. I want to put my socks in this drawer as well because I think I'm running out of space for my socks in my main drawer. All right, so from this drawer, I literally have all of these clothes that I'm going to donate. In the end, I'm going to show you how much I donate because I think it will be a lot. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. My... I'm changing my butt sheets, like my butt set. I'm going to change it. If you're going to see it. It's going to look cute. I'm going to show you all. It's going to look amazing. But we have two crates to go through, which are over there. So I'm going to drag them over, and we're going to go through and see which ones I'm keeping and see which ones I'm throwing away. I have this hoodie, but I feel like I have so many black hoodies that I don't even wear. I kind of want to just get rid of them. I have a lot of black clothes, and I like my black clothing, but I feel like at some point, it's too much, you know? Yeah, honestly, I think this is all donated. Actually, besides this jacket, this jacket's not going to be donated because I actually it's a raincoat and i need it oh the stuff that's in here is just like bad sheets and stuff okay this doesn't bother me bad sheets it's fine oh there's this i was looking for that my white pillowcase all right i'm gonna try to lift this up and put it inside of here oh my god The bed frame that I have, I bought from Amazon and I love it because I can literally just shove so much stuff under here. I have my suitcases, I have like different storage stuff under there and it saves me a lot of space. I don't think if I wouldn't have what's underneath my bed, like this bed frame, I don't think I would have any storage in this room, which is crazy because I have so much stuff. <laughs> okay, we went through the two crates. We got through a lot of stuff. Last thing we need to do is just wrap up this closet area and my deep cleanse of the room is done and I can start redecorating. I feel so much better. That shelf, it's not put up, but we'll put it up. We'll put it up by the, like, but give me some time, okay? I'll put the shelf back up, and then it'll look nice. I think I want to film a room tour for you guys, so I'm not going to walk you through what everything in my room is. So I'm going to give you a short room tour of everything, but I think I'm going to do it in another video. We cleaned out that. We did that. We have all of this trash. Literally, so much. Oh, my God. And then my air purifier over there. Oh my god, and then we cleared this off. I'm gonna hang up that mirror, but that's gonna, yeah, I'm not showing you that until we have the room tour, okay? Because I feel like my room's gonna look really, really cute. It feels so good to like have my dust like clean again because these last few months or last few weeks, it has been a mess, but it's so clean. Oh, and yeah, I'm watching YouTube right now as I clean up. All right, I need to go throw this stuff away, but I can't do that tonight because where am i gonna throw all these bags away i'm gonna find somewhere to dump them also yeah i have these sound panels i have these sound panels you know why so that i can talk like this and they don't go anywhere it just like bounce it just sounds like i'm like in here in a full room and i have to wait a few hours to wash and dry my sheets so 
I will probably sleep without them tonight and just wake up and put them on. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us, guys. We did it. We were so productive today. I'm really proud of us. Oh, it's the next day. It's literally so much later. It's like 6 p.m. right now. I went to bed at 9 in the morning doing my uh, room. My room is finished, but I want to do a room tour, so I'm not bringing you into the room anymore. Um, you will see when I do the room tour. It looks really, really cool. I like it. I feel like so much has happened since we, like, last chit-chat, since we last, like, talked. I feel like I should, like, reflect on, like, this year and what this year has been because 2022, we're, it was literally a, a tough year. I don't, wanna th I don't think it was the toughest year of my life, 1,000%. It wasn't the toughest year of my life. I do think it was so unnecessarily tough for, like, just so many things. I just... I feel like I started the year at a very good place because 2021 was like, okay, it wasn't bad, but 2021 was definitely on the better side of things. So I was like, okay, cool. It was like nice. Because I think 2020 for everyone was really hard year. So 2021 was cool. Then 2022, God, I literally like wanted to die for like six months straight in 2022. It was literally brutal. I think in 2022, I have seriously like grown so much i feel like especially in the second half like i don't i feel like this year is so much unnecessary like drama has happened in my life whether it'll be like online or like in real life or wherever there was just so many like unnecessary negative things going on and like i'm so ready for 2023 because i feel like my mental for 2023 is just get everything that i want like if i want something if i set a goal go work for it and accomplish it i'm not wasting my time on any drama i'm not gonna fight with anyone like i feel like being negative literally will kill you faster than being positive will so why would i be negative you know it's like life is hard enough why be mean to people i'm just gonna be nice to everyone i want to have a good life i want to have a good time and i want to have fun this year this year i want to have fun i want to do so many fun things i don't know okay not to get sentimental because yeah this is a little cayenne crying on the couch moment but i seriously think that this year wouldn't have been possible without like <laughs> people watching my videos or like being on my twitch and i like am really 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 thankful for like being able to do this and be online even if it's just like a smaller audience than like we know people with millions of followers i just it makes me so happy being able to post online and people actually like resonate with it and connect with it and enjoy it and give me good feedback and are nice there were some haters this year there were definitely you know the comments did get to me because y'all were a little mean but it's okay you know this year i've been saying how i want to prioritize my personal relationships with people and i think i'm going to carry that into 2023 because i think prioritizing my personal relationships with my friends and like my family is really really important to me and something that i value a lot just being like available for my friends and just being a better friend communicating and just like being nice and like reciprocating the energy they give me i think is something i need to be really big on next year because my friends give so much to me they do because i'm difficult all right sometimes i'm a very difficult person and they give so much to me and they and i want to reciprocate it back to them and be a better person i just am really thankful for everything that i've got and like online with my friends my family so i want to give it back i want to be it's like you know a good person for everyone yo y'all did not come here to be sappy um anyways i have something to tell you so you know how i was like we are going to spend new year's eve and new year's alone well guess who's not spending new year's eve or new year's alone anymore me you want to know why because i'm now going to a rave i'm going to a rave for new year's eve when i was not supposed to go i didn't okay i didn't plan on going i wanted to stay home and i wanted to just be at a home body but we're going to a rave we are we're doing it if you want to see any pictures from that just look on instagram uh it'll be really fun but thank you guys for hanging out with me for the last few days uh i really had a good time please have a safe new year i hope you had a good safe new year let me know some of your goals for the new year please and let me know do you guys like manifesting and all that stuff if you do let me know i really like just affirmations just saying stuff because i feel like whatever i say becomes my reality so if i'm negative then it becomes my reality but if i'm really positive then i have a really positive happy life that's how that's how i look at it but i gotta go because we have to find an outfit we have so much to do maybe i don't know i'm maybe i'll vlog it actually i'll post on instagram go look at my instagram it's at kind of king if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up i really did appreciate it and i loved hanging out with you guys and i will be back next week with a brand new video I'll see you guys later. Bye.